Uh, my work is an extension of what actually uh, my work has spanned 51 years last week when I came to uh, the state of South Carolina, the United States Air Force, as a psychiatric social worker. And my squadron commander immediately ordered me to do community service, which I didn't understand what it was, so he defined it as college teaching at night. That's how I discovered my career. And my career has been overwhelmingly focused on helping undergraduates be more successful. It's, for me, it's a calling. It's a kind of uh, pioneer missionary work uh, in a secular sense. Um, I uh, spent 32 years at the University of South Carolina. Uh, during that time, I visited approximately 20 of the University System of Georgia colleges and universities, helping them replicate the uh, and launch the first year seminar concept, for which probably I'm still best known. For the past 18 years, I have been uh, the CEO of a nonprofit organization based in Brevard, North Carolina. We're a 501c3 with an IRS approved mission of doing anything that might help uh, further the cause of educational excellence, and especially in our case, uh, to increase the chance that we'll really achieve social justice in our society and promote equity for, for more students. So we have a number of processes. We offer colleges and universities to help them better understand what they're doing, what they need to do to improve. Um, for example, the Gateways to Completion Project we're doing the University System of Georgia would be a, a classic illustration of how we go about our I think I see myself fitting in, first of all, as being 100% uh, all in uh, for this project. I think it's one that has enormous potential. I can elaborate on that if you want. It's a very natural extension of my life's work. Um, I have an enormous amount of experience in the University System of Georgia, more in your state than any of the other states I've worked with. And I've worked with all 50 states in the United States in my career. Um, I, I think it's uh, bringing together and creating synergies between things that are often uh, totally separate if they're considered at all. So we have this enormous potential to integrate um, how we welcome students to campus, how we set expectations, how we orient students, how we advise students, how we get them focused, how we help them make good decisions, uh, and especially in their gateway courses. Uh, these gateway courses are the generally required either gateways to uh, general education or gateways to a particular major in which we have the highest um, failure and DW and I rates. And our research has found a, an extraordinary uh, correlation between what happens when a student gets one of those grades and the decision not to continue in higher education at all, at least for the time being. And uh, this is really short-circuiting the potential of students, and we want to intervene that, and we believe that there are a number of ways courses can be redesigned so that students will be more successful. So that, that's a, a primary focus of my work, but by no means exclusive, because uh, you know my work has involved all those other pieces, setting expectations, orientation, advising, curriculum redesign, faculty development, a lot of work in that. Uh, and I think perhaps most importantly, developing a coherent overall plan for all the components of the first year. Um, it, often the, these uh, different um, elements of the first year are unconnected. They're not coherent. They're not integrated. And frequently, institutions don't have a comprehensive plan that addresses all of the first year. The momentum year is that. It's a comprehensive plan. It's an effort to integrate all these different discrete uh, student experiences. And it want, it's one, it to be most effective, it's going to have to integrate faculty, student affairs officers, student success staff, academic administrators, uh, all kinds of staff, athletic personnel, uh, you name it, plus the students. So this project has enormous potential to go so much further. It is so much more comprehensive. And you know, it's system-wide. It has the support from the highest levels of the system. It's got all the ingredients that ideally you need to improve your outcomes. But first and foremost, I see the, uh, the, the student experience, especially through the lens of the faculty and the curricular learning experience. But I am very appreciative and very committed to the student development concepts. Uh, it's, it's one complex, uh, has to be integrated whole. And I have a passion about this work, and I really love working with higher education. They are the neatest, most intelligent, most creative people. You've just got to bring them to the point where they can execute their aspirations. And that's what this project is all about.